So now what I want to do is I want to customize my actual theme. So this purple button up here, Enable Visual Builder, that's what we click on. And that will refresh the screen and make everything customizable. <laughs> So here we go, we're loading, and you can see now boxes are showing up when I hover around things. So if you want to do just a text swap out just so it suits you, that's fine. You can see once you're in your customizer, you can just hover over stuff, select it and change it. There we go. Just click on it, type it out, simple as that. Um, if you want to change images and stuff like that, this one, if we click on the green hover icon for the row, we go to background and this is set for column one. So say I want to change this whole template and I want to change it to um, like a nutritionist coach instead of just a standard coach. I've You can upload your background image here. So what I've done is I've, I've already uploaded all my images so I don't have to go through all that but you just drag them and drop them in here and they will upload to your media library. So for now, I just want to add a few images here. I'm going to swap these out. Sometimes take a little bit to load, but that's fine. Here we go. So you can see I've got my brand new image there. And this um, mauve minky blush color isn't working for me anymore. So I want to change that. So in my Divi, I did add this blue. So you can see when I click here, it's just an instant color palette change. I could go through and type in my colors. I can go select them all I want, but I've put that one there just so it's easy. So I'm gonna press that and you can see that we need to update it here as well. So I'm gonna press this little icon. And if I go to background, then I can change that. So there we go, we've already changed that section there. Again, I can change this text if I want. Uh, what can I say here? It's going to be custom text because I don't really know what to say. And you can see when you change this, it changes the height of this too. So it's all set up that way. So if I copy and just paste this a bunch of times, it will make it grow. And you can see that section is growing too with it. There we go. So we'll add that. I can also change the colors of my borders here. So if I click on my blue section there, that's just for your section settings. So if I go to my top divider, I can change it so it matches my brand colors. We will change the menu color in a minute too. The same with these icons, you can swap the text out and if you want, you can swap the icons out. So I'm no longer a sales strategist, I'm a nutrition coach. So I press this little gray cog here that is for your module the green one's for your row, and the blue one's for your section. So I'm gonna change my module. And if I scroll down, you have image and icon. So I can use an icon here, or if I untick that, I can upload an image if I want. So I can just, I can add this instead. And you'll see it's just giving me an image above here. But for now, I wanna use an icon. So what icon can I use? See, there's so many. I'm just gonna add a cup of tea and I'm not sure if there's that many food related ones in here. I don't think so. We'll have a music note. <laughs> and what else will we have? A heart, there we go. So you can set these to whatever you want. If you want to upload your own custom icons, you can upload them as images, that's perfectly fine. And I do wanna change the background of them, again, to match my blue for my branding. So I go to my module settings, I go to my design, image and icon, you can change your icon color here so I can make my icon this gray color and my circle that color. If I don't want a circle, I just untick that and I can change my icon color to whatever I like. I'm gonna add a circle back there. So again, you just do that on all these ones here. Image and icon, icon color, circle color. And again, icon color, circle color. And you can change your text like before. So the same goes for this. This is editable in the exact same way. Hover over it, 
background. Change my column two image out and we're going to have this. There we go. Column one is going to be blue and the background of this section is going to be blue as well. There we go. If you want to change where your buttons are linking to, so these ones, you again go to your module, your button text, you can change it to whatever you like and you go down here and under link you have where your button links to. So you can open it in the same window, so for example if you wanted to go to your about page you'd have www. have your website is dot com slash about and it would go there. You can open it in a new window if you want, it's completely up to you. So we've got this and there we go. So that's how you customize these type of sections. Again, you can, some of these are done by background as well. So for here, you'll have to go here and change your background settings. And there we go. That's our new background. And you will have to go back into these and some of them you'll have to play about with depending where your customization is. So for for your, your contact form, you'd have to go onto it. You'd have to go to your design and it's the borders that are different colors. So under border, you have this and then you change your colors there. So you do, you do have to play about with a little bit of it just to kind of figure out where your colors are coming from. But it's, it's pretty simple to figure out. Once you've figured one section out, you'll figure most of them out. And there are things like this. So here I've got a testimonial section. Say you only have two testimonials for your website. That's fine. This green section here, press the bin button. There you go, you've got two. And later you get a new client and they give you another testimonial, that's fine, hover over it. Press this button here and it duplicates it. So you can go down here and drag it to below here if you want, just so it goes left, right, left. And there you go, you can add them as you wish. So again, for here, you go in here, background, and you change your columns out. So you change your columns and your images. So I'm just gonna change that image to this image and my background color to the blue. You will have to again go in here and change your background color here as well. There you go. So you can do that. You can make them different colors if you want. Like I can do it so my left images are blue, my right images are a beigey color. It's completely customizable. You can really do whatever you like with it. So that's fine. Sorry, I, I jump around quite a bit. <laughs> there we go. And I've only got two clients, so I just want to delete that. So there you go. We've got this. Great. So that is how you customize your content and your coloring within your content.